Hello, this is my YouTube channel again, Global Container Shipping Agency. I would like to come to a short topic and an important topic, how to solve the problem of purchasing sea freight rates. We know this very well that 80% when we receive inquiries ourselves that 80% of the time we are busy with asking others for rates in order to create offers. And you have so many different port pairs, so many different services that this is really the dominating aspect of our work. And I think it is time to think about and to spend the ideas and to spend the power to shorten this process in order to reorganizing your own company. Because it is not only that the big boys, the big boys means the, the big forwarders are always more competitive on rates, they are simply sometimes better organized so that they can pass on their, their offers to clients quicker than we can do. So I would like to, to help you with maybe three to four steps how to optimize your C freight rate purchase. And Step number one is that you really analyze your cargo structure, how many containers have been done the, the, the recent year and on what port pairs you have loaded most of them so that you have a ranking. Then you analyze very, very clearly what was the shipping line you worked with, how many containers you did, who was the most competitive. So the second step is that you put all this information into a data sheet. Of course, most of the, of the companies we are working for, they don't have the super IT platform to control all of this, but a simple Excel sheet is, is, is already enough per region, per port pair to see how many containers I did, what were the, what, what were the prices, so to structure this. So the next step is that based on that, let's say, more transparent past, you can work with the respective lines for the future. And if you work for the future means you specifically talk to the important people in the shipping lines to get the rates for the next two months, for the next three months, that's dependent on the quantity. And again, you, created, uh, you create a transparency about it. And if you have done so, you have to make sure that the inquiring, this, this kind of inquiry process, let's say, is maybe limited to a couple of people who control the incoming information and to make it really to create not only transparency, but also to have this transparency on the latest level in order to have correct information. So if you have done this, then the last step applies and the last step is this information is available to everyone who is selling your service. You create your own tariff and this tariff then will help you to concentrate more on what is important to look after the client. So if you have some questions to that, if I can help you with that, if, if, if we would like to exchange, then do not hesitate to contact me. But uh, I hope you like this video. I hope that there is something in it for you to, to I will not say to learn news, but to find the power and the energy to change what has to be changed. And in that connection, I wish you a real good day and see you soon on my channel.